So Matthew James, my first day as a Whitley medalist, although in your case you've already won one, how does this sit in comparison with 2018? Um, yeah, this one means yeah a thousand times more than the, the previous one. Yeah. Um, I guess in a way that sort of everyone sort of ripped me off a few years ago. Um, I guess the first one, people, you know, you, you hear whispers around the league, you know, you probably didn't deserve it, this and that. Um, but yeah, it was good to obviously have a full pre-season. Um, obviously, had a very consistent year and be obviously pretty honoured to win it again and yeah, fortunate enough. Let's put some context behind this superstar of our competition, your junior journey, because I remember covering a best on ground performance you had for St. Mary's at KP about a decade ago. Yeah, it was a while back. Let's go even before that. Where did you start your junior footy? Um, so it was actually at North Shore. I would have been, I think, seven years old. I was playing on the tens. Um, and my old man was actually coaching back then. And, um, but yeah, well, actually, me and my brother were in the same team, but we were forced to leave because the juniors actually just folded. Yeah. Um, so yeah, went over to Balbrose Hill for, I think, maybe two or three seasons. And then they also folded their juniors. Um, and then, yeah, I played, I think I played one season at Geelong West St. Peter's and at Bow Park. And then I think I had maybe one or two seasons off and just, you know, I was 15, 16, sort of just lost interest. Um, and then, yeah, then I went over to St. Mary's on the 18s, um, played a division one premiership there, which is, yeah. yeah, I was pretty fortunate to win that as well. Yeah. We talk about your count, 2018-30 Whitley medal votes. Um, Rob Cameron mentioned there was a runner up in between as well, but, you polled 30 votes again, but this time it was for the bottom of the table. So has that sunk in? Um, yeah, I guess obviously the first time one was, you know, in a, in a winning team. Yeah. Um, and then this time obviously in, in a losing team. But yeah, just I was I think I'm a totally different player what I am now compared to you know, six years ago. Yeah. I feel like you're the only player in our league that has a trademark. The same way Dusty has the don't argue in the AFL. You've got this side step, which... It has obviously worked. Here we are, two Whitley medals later. Is that something you were taught, or is that just something you picked up watching a, an <laughs> AFL player? No, nah, um, more just yeah, just from watching it on the TV and just yeah, it's just just timing and just instincts. I guess it's not really something you can practice. It's just yeah, some people can do it and just some people can't. Like I just think yeah. You love your sport, see the Bulls attire there. Yeah. Is there a sportsman in general that you pride yourself off of that you read about or? Not just in AFL? I wouldn't say a, a sportsman in particular, but I, I do love um, NFL's American football. It's probably my favourite sport. Yep. I actually prefer it more than AFL. You're kidding. To be honest, yeah. Um, but yeah, also love baseball, love basketball, and you obviously love football, even watch the rugby. Pretty much watch everything apart from cricket. Yeah. yeah. So if Gridiron Victoria is watching this and watching your highlights, you'd, you'd well, never say no to If they need someone to be a punter, yeah. <laughs> call me up. You're the guy to go to. Yeah. Your own games, I mentioned throughout the week, you've polled in 14 of the 18 games. Yep. But just go over one negative. I saw you play against North July. I reckon you had 50 touches at half time. You didn't poll in that game. What happened there? Oh, I don't know. I was a bit dirty on that. I must yeah. have um, gave it a lip to the umpire, maybe. Yeah, okay. I don't know. A Whitley medalist should know better, especially oh, when you're right. two time. Which was your best game? I mean, I've this got year? to ask it. Um, this, this year. I'd say probably the Thompson game. I think it was around 16. Yep. Um, yeah, we'll sort of obviously win some in some bad form for you know four or five weeks. We're getting pumped a fair bit. Um, you know, pretty much just showing up for a quarter and a half, two quarters, and just getting blown out. But um, you know, we stuck with Thompson nearly the whole game, to be honest. And um, yeah, it was just one of them games. Like we we played actually like generally played four quarters as a team, and yeah, probably my best game of the season, I think. Who was the best player in the comp outside of yourself, and did that opinion change? after you saw the Whitley medal votes? Um, probably my teammate. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say Joel, mate. He's, um, yeah, just his fitness is his next level, the way he, his leadership on the ground, um, yeah, the way he break a game open with his skills. It's just, yeah, it's great to play alongside him, even though it was only, I think, six games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like me and him were starting to gel and whatnot, and yeah, he went down, so pretty keen for next year. Jason Festuka's won three Whitley medals. What would it mean to you in the next few years if you got the third and, and joined his company? Well, I don't know. I don't know if got a few years left in me, mate. But um, no, nah, obviously, if I was fortunate enough to win another one, maybe, you know, it'd be pretty humbling. But yeah, like I said, I just want to 
get that bit of final success now and yeah, just look at that and concentrate on that. Beautiful. Well, mate, thanks very much for joining us the day after your Whitley medal and uh, you never know, we could be here for a third time in the next few years. You never know. Have a good mate, thank you.